every day and outside of my race. I'm learning a lot. <laughs> what are you learning? That's dope. White That's people. the dope thing. Hey, she made a key point. That's the dope thing. Like, I feel like it's all a journey, bro. Like, it's like me. It's like saying, especially if they're really from there, like, and they didn't just grow up here in America. Like, they're really from there and they, they migrated over here. Um, Cause they do certain things different. They cook differently. They, they, they just they they move differently. Um, so you learn you learn from that aspect of of, of their life where like say it was in China, and now y'all together you get part of China. It's like you're living in China. jump into this one man uh i feel like this something different y'all let me know if y'all want me to keep it going y'all could suggest more videos in the comments but i feel like we gotta touch on this one does race matter when dating i need y'all to go ahead and comment that below man be honest And then I'm gonna I'm gonna give I'm throughout the video I'm gonna give y'all my opinion, man. You feel me? Um, but uh, this gonna be interesting. This gonna be interesting. Um, you know, let's let's just go ahead and break the ice, man. Let's break the ice. <clears throat> See, you know me. All colors, all shapes, all forms, baby. It's all about how you treat me. Cause you feel me, I'm a, I'm a Leo, man. I'm a, you feel me, I'm a, you gotta pamper me. I like that, you know. You feel me, I like that. Yo, give me that treatment, baby. I'm, I'm good with you. Once you give me that treatment, we good. Feel me? What? I don't, I don't care what. You, big girls need love too. <laughs> Skinny girls need love too. All, all race need love, baby. <laughs> You feel me? Just just don't come at me with, with that with that nasty um attitude. Don't come at me with that dark heart. Then we got then we got a problem. Then then you know, it's just it, it's not gonna work. But uh let's go ahead and dive into it. We go. Outside of your race. Yes. Let's talk about your current partner. What race are they? He's a white cis man. And what about your partner before that? He was a white cis man. Uh-huh. And then what about before that? Before that? Oh no, he was a white cis man. But ask me the one before that. What's a white what's a white cis man? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. I have. Oh yeah. I have dated, I'd say, every race. <laughs> Currently dating someone outside my race right now. Uh, my girlfriend right now is mixed. I've dated a lot of white guys, but I've also dated Mexican guys as well. well. I currently have a partner right now and they're a white partner. I've only dated two people and my husband, my current partner, he is, uh, he's mixed. And you're white? I am very white, yes. Very, very white. <laughs> Not very white. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever dated outside of your race? Mm -hmm. I'm black and Asian. I've never dated anybody that's black or Asian. My current girlfriend is Asian. It's Japanese American. Puerto Ricans. Chinese. My husband is black. My partner actually of over 10 years is black. Have you ever dated outside of your race? I'm currently dating outside of my race. I'm learning a lot. <laughs> what are you learning? That's dope. White that's people. the dope thing. Hey, she made a key point. That's the dope thing. Like, I feel like it's all a journey, bro. Like, it's like me, it's like saying, especially if they're really from there, like, and they didn't just grow up here in America. Like, they're really from there and they, they migrated over here. Um, cause they do certain things different. They cook differently. They, they, they just, they, they move differently. Um, so you learn, you learn from that aspect of, of, of their life where, like, say it was in China and now y'all together, you get, part of China. It's like you're living in China. Basically, like you 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 get the culture. You feel me? Uh, that's how I look at it. It's really it's really like that. You learn a lot, bro. 
People just really love the outdoors. They like, it doesn't matter if the weather's bad, it doesn't matter if there's bugs and mosquitoes everywhere, they are outside. Why have you dated outside of your race? I experience, get to know the other culture as well. Right, where I right. grew up. I just said that, bro. White people were one of the minorities. So it was usual for everyone to date outside their race. I grew up in Los Angeles, um, so there's a lot more than just white guys. Sometimes I equate uh, the feeling of uh, whiteness to uh, a lack of passion. I, I would prefer that they're oh, not yeah. white because it makes interesting, I think. Have you ever dated outside of your race? No. 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 No, nope, I don't think so. Well, I've only dated one person, <laughs> and that. he is like also the same mixed race makeup as me, so no. What's your ethnicity? My mom's white and my dad is Mexican, white, Chinese, and Native American. I'm biracial, so if I were to date another black person, I don't consider that outside of my race, but I also don't consider dating a white person outside of my race. But have you ever dated someone that wasn't white or black or mixed? No, I haven't. Why haven't you dated outside of your race? It hasn't risen as an opportunity. Opportunity has not been there. Never had the opportunity to. I've had people that I've been interested in, but we just, never ended up dating. Have you ever dated outside of your race? I have not. Why not? I think in my younger years, it was fear. And I'm not sure what that fear is defined as. And mm. it just, it, the opportunities never came after a point where I didn't feel that way. That's tough because back, we know what it was back then. Um, and it was probably fear, like holding them back from trying or going, because it was so strict. You feel me? You, you can do certain things. You can't do certain things. So like, you're almost like tempted to do it. But the people, I, I feel like pe people did it obviously back then. Um, those were the, those were the risk takers. But people who weren't, who weren't going to take that risk, like she said, she was scared. Um, I just feel like now, Come on, bro. We outside. Nah, let me check. Nah, but I feel like now it's more like, it's more, it's more, it's more, I would say, in, like, we're more involved with each other. Like, you feel me? It's still some, you know, some, some race, racism going on. But, uh, like I said, I feel like that's just hate, bro. Like, people, people just, just got hate inside of them, bro. Like, they needed just love. You feel me? Love is, is a beautiful thing, bro. When you love, everything just flows, bro. You don't want to be, you don't want to be like a, like a, like a, like a, like a rip, like a lake or like a dirty, like a dirty swamp and every, all the toxins are just built up. Bro, you want to flow like the river, man. Come on, man. I, bro, I'm just saying. T.Y. and the T.Y. just talking this talk. I look at things. Y'all may look at it different. Comment below. Let's discuss. The time that I was dating a lot, I went to a school that was like very Caucasian. So I just tend to be in spaces where there are a lot of white people. And where I grew up, it was pretty white. I grew up in a little tiny town. Small town. Small town in Kansas. I grew up in Montana. There wasn't a really a lot of people that See, were that too. Race. Just That too. If you're in a small town, you only could like, and you can't, you don't, you don't know it's outside of your, um, when that's the same thing, it goes back to fear, bro. When you don't want to step outside your means, like say you live, you live in a little town and you don't want to travel somewhere else. It was a big town. So you kind of like just to yourself. I mean, it's cool to be like that, but, um, me personally, I'm different, bro. I gotta, I gotta, you feel me? I gotta try to culture baby come on all shapes all forms come on baby all colors I'm trying to tell you you should try it if you stuck in your means right now you watching this video try it man because ty says so man. you feel me get enlightened <laughs> just the only people that i've gravitated towards are they're both just happen to be white statistically i'm probably gonna end up with a white person that's the way of the world oh what do you mean by that I mean, it's just like generally people like to stick within their cultural groups because they want to feel Negative. accepted to the highest extent that they can be. Why would you typically date Some people. in your race? Just because it's easier to relate really relate to each other, I think. I've only oh, done some race once. We I just like didn't see eye to eye. I'm Latina, so I feel like other people wouldn't really get 
our issues as much. The type of upbringings Latina's we have were different. <laughs> uh, finan yeah. Like finances in our family were different. I have been predominantly dating black men. There's a level that we just understand each other at and I don't have to really explain anything about my culture. What is your race? I'm South Asian, more specifically Indian. See, I don't, I don't like that aspect of it where you're closed in and you don't want to explain like your culture. Why not? Why why would you not want to put somebody else on or how you how you how you was raised? I feel like that's the beauty of it. I usually date Indian men. I would say that's my type and I didn't really branch out until recently, mainly because I've had some bad experiences with Indian men. I would say I typically date white males, to be honest. Why do you tend to date white guys? Kind of just a preference I've had, and for me, kind of growing up and seeing the Latino machismo uh, culture, that kind of just turned me off. Have you ever dated outside of your race? Yes, I have. I have, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. All the time. Do you oh, tend yes. to have a preference when dating? I don't know that I have a preference, but I've dated more white men than I have any other race. I guess generally I tend to date white people. I definitely have dated mostly white women. It's a lot of white guys. I don't think that I'm like attracted Damn, white towards guys winning. people outside of my race. Why? I don't, I don't really know. Do you tend to have a preference when dating? No, um, <laughs> I typically don't find Caucasian men as attractive. And I think my love of Asian food and anime and stuff kind of just translated to what? I love specifically Asian features. That sounds really bad, but I guess we all like what we like, right? True, Why do you true that, right true that. I like blonde hair. So I feel like that often white guys have the hair color that I'm looking for. I don't, like, I like alternative indie guys and that's who- Hey man, hold up. Hold up, hold up. White guys, y'all boys, y'all boys out here. What y'all doing? Y'all, y'all, they nice though. I ain't gonna lie. Like white guy, white guys, white people in general are like super, super nice. Girls love that, bro. Um, but me personally, bro, I ain't had no, I ain't had no issue. You know what I mean? Yeah, we up here winning, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but um. I don't know. It looked like looked like the average, the white man. They they taking off. What's going on? Tends to be you know, um, kind of on the edgier side. Have you ever dated outside of your race? Yeah. It doesn't matter. It depends on the the character of the person. As I was like starting to date and everything, I realized I I didn't really have a preference. Racial preference, uh, people of color, just because there's a lot more that I can connect with. However, I don't have a racial requirement, and that's the th that's what pisses me off. People have literally misconstrued a preference over a requirement. Have you ever dated outside your race? Um, yes. Did that cause any conflict within your right? This is not, not really. I think there were some can't, can't aspects make somebody of how you want. his culture that like I tried to understand that I didn't just because it's not my own. Have you ever dated outside of your race? I have. Has that caused any tension? Yeah, I mean, shit, if you're not out, I bro, me personally, I feel like you got to know what you want. And uh, if, if you feel like you don't want to learn or you're not interested in other cultures, stay within your culture, bro. That's just it. But again, that's the beauty of it, knowing other cultures. Why you you want to travel, right? You want to go to Paris, you want to go to France, you want to go to Germany, you want to go to uh Mexico, you want to go to Brazil, you what are you going for? Why are you going? You want to see the other cultures. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Let's be honest here. Color, race, sexuality, all that shit don't matter, bro. This was in there, in here, bro. This was in here, bro. How you treat other people, how you make other people feel. That's what's going to take you. You feel me? Skyrocket, baby. Come on, once you master that, you got it. Um, uh, but uh, that's just Ty, you know, putting in my little two cent 
And uh, y'all go ahead and comment below, man. We're going to cut this short. Y'all go ahead and comment below how y'all feeling. Uh, it's basically they saying the same thing, so we're going to cut it short right here. Uh, y'all let me know how y'all feeling, man. Uh, comment below. Y'all y'all opinions matter, too. Come on now. Uh, but uh, let's get 500 likes on this ball. Run them likes on it, man. And uh, let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, we out of here.